Uh, hello all, welcome and welcome back to Illuminate the Oracle, happy to have you as always. <clears throat> Hopefully you're staying cool wherever you are, it's quite the scorcher where I am, so I'm going to try to like do things a little differently, um, at least where I am, you're probably likely not going to notice. Um, I'm going to try to talk, because I definitely got a fan going, <laughs> and we definitely got some incense going. Um, as I try to see like what works best when it comes to filming um, and this and doing these these hot temperatures, darling. These hot, hot, hot temperatures. Um, ooh, it's too hot, too hot for me, man. Gotta run for shelter, gotta run for shade. Uh, so this is gonna be a collective love reading for all signs. Um, only take what resonates, leave behind anything else for anyone else. My readings can be past, present, and or future. So as a conductor and the listener, uh, only fit in what fits. And if whatever doesn't, toss it back. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I want to do a channeling with a, a earpiece today. I kind of get this vibe of like, I, I want to hear the sounds. Um, so I have a playlist on random and any songs that kind of like call out, I, I kind of feel like it could be, it could, um, I definitely let y'all know that as I feel like it resonates. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump to this, uh, prayer. <sighs> Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of your highest vibration, messages that you do for us to receive. Any ill will or evil energy sent our way, kindly remove or return that energy back to their rightful owner. Bind them in their own energy so it can never harm anyone again. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the song, this first song is... um. Automatic by Pointer Sisters. These ladies are talking about, you know, I can't. This is someone that's tried to hide their emotions for you. Because they overthought it. And they underestimated that when it came to this connection, when it comes to the person in your mind, when it comes to a connection of this magnitude, if they were to have allowed it, or if you were to have allowed it, vice versa, y'all would have found that the connection in itself runs quite automatically. The song is automatic. This person can't control themselves. It, it happens whenever you're around. They try to tell themselves, I'm not into collective like that. It's not like that. This person wasn't intended on falling in love. Something could have happened in the summertime or something will be happening in the summertime. You notice I kept talking about it's too hot too hot um yeah some of y'all could have met in the summertime and or will be meeting in the summertime or even for some of y'all reuniting in the summertime um because that song that too hot that song too hot there's a part of the song um because <clears throat> long ago you were my love and yet you're so far away once ago you so it's like the that in that song too hot is almost like he's thinking upon a love he once knew that likely happened in the summertime. Um, yeah, you were my love, and now you're just someone that feels like you're far away from them now. So this is likely a, separa a separation. I don't know for some of y'all this is the best mm, y'all ever had. If not, this is someone that's looking to be the best mm, you ever had. Uh, okay. We'll look into that. All right. Um, what is this reading about, Holy Spirit? What is this reading about? Down, down, down. Okay. The tides are shifting. Drawing heavy emotions. This also has a time frame. Anytime between June, no, yeah, anytime between June and December. Don't care. Do you not care? What do we got here? Oh, these came out together. 
anyone who's pretending like they don't care about this connection, whether it be you or on their end, know the line to their teeth, okay? This person likely had to pretend like they didn't care about this connection for a particular reason. Likely because you guys had to separate. Two tears in the bucket, fuck it. Moving forward, the person had to put on a face like they were moving forward from this connection. As far as you're concerned, this person could have come across as sneaky or someone of mind games. Someone you probably um, showed a concern when it came to trusting them. But this is someone that says, I, I should have chose you. So something could have occurred where um, a choice was made and it wasn't in the direction of my collective. And it could have um, brought up the question of loyalty. Someone wants to show you that they're loyal to you. They want to show you that you got a friend in them. Okay. All right. Let's also see sorry, not sorry here. It could be a dom that's the dominant, the sorry, not sorry. But we got right across my mind 24 7. Someone that wants to virtually hug you, they want to touch you. And it's. This is GQ, I do love you. All right. uh, here we go. Somebody's holding back around you. And it's got them trust out because you weren't in their mind 24 7. Someone says, I do love you. I love you, I love you. And in that song, he's saying, I love your soul right now. What's going on with this person, Holy Spirit? This person says, I'm never going to let you go. Pretty little baby. I hope you understand. He says, I hope you understand. They say, I hope you understand. I love you. I love you. Show me the energy of this person. This is the energy of someone that's following the chart. Okay. Show me the energy of the person in my collective's mind. What is their energy? What are they going through? Holy Spirit. Show my collective what the person in their mind is going through as it stands right here, right now, right here, right now. Let's see. Five of Swords in the reverse. First card out. So this is someone that is, once again, moving forward, making amends. This person wants their... their... They're saying whatever it is that got us to a level of hicking up, okay? Whatever hicked us up, I, I want to bring it back down, okay? I love you, baby. They don't want to let you go. They want to make amends here. They want to reconcile. Okay. What do we got here? And here they go with something, uh, an offer that is steady, substantial. This could have taken a while. This person is very methodical. Um, they could definitely, definitely be about their work and their pentacle. But they're also about the step-by-step -step process. This is not someone that would want to rush anything with you because they don't want you to feel unsteady about it but at the same time it's something for themselves as well they need to feel comfortable and confident and in these movements forward here let's see what is collecting to know as it pertains to summertime let's see what is my collecting to know as it pertains to summertime I don't always. This is this is interesting to have the music playing in my ears. I don't. I don't know how I like it because I have other songs playing in my head, and sometimes it conflicts. This is someone who's remembering the things that you used to do, the places you used to go. 
they feel like everything was all so fine and mellow back then. Okay, this is someone that's keeping their position tight as far as their next move. Because this person wants to make the next move their next their best move. Okay, I feel like they, this person's had to hold their own here against some people as it pertains to them moving forward. Why is that? Why is this person having to stand their ground and moving forward? Why is that, Holy Spirit? Three of Wands. Because this person has vision that only he can see. Hey, man. He's, he has vision that only he can see. He... During his pause state, he received some type of um, revelation as it pertains to his connection. It's put him in a state of uh, surrender. Not only surrender of the need to control their lives and that of pentacles. The need to control the pacing, the need to control an outcome, the need to control the amount of information that you even know at this point in time. This person had a real bugger of an issue when it came to control in the amount of information that you know, what they know. I think the thing is that this person had a revelation that um, this is likely why you may have some trust issues with this person because they don't allow themselves to move fluidly, to speak fluidly, to feel fluidly but they want you to receive them with fluidity. And so they, there's something that they have to modify within themselves as far as what their output is so they can receive the reception that, they're really, that they really desire from you. But it's gonna be really tricky for you to, for, the, for you to give that to them collective without you feeling like it's a safe space for you to do so. Okay, that's what this person is working on in their healing. It's something that they've, that hangman, they got the idea. They had the aha moment and they're all aglow with plans and strategy. Yeah. You could have had a brutal ending with this person or this person is having to go through these brutal endings in order to get to a space where they can expand and they can grow. Okay. What is the energy of don't care that my collective needs to know? Holy Spirit. What does my collective need to know? This is Wicked Games, Chris Isaac. You know I want to fall in love. This person is now in, the accept now in a state of acceptance. They're no longer in the state of um, shoulda, coulda, wouldas of the past. They're now in the state of, okay, well, how can we make amends? How can we fix? Okay, this person, and this person was pretending like they didn't care. It literally was the biggest front of all time, this really was hitting them in every way that you could imagine. It actually was stalling and delaying the process for them to be in this state of grief and regret. It was stalling the entire process. So for them to finally be in a space where they can forgive themselves, they can forgive just the situation, y'all can forgive each other, like they can just be this sense of Whoever said we had to get it right the first time? Or whoever said it had to be perfect the first time? And whoever said that they were perfect? You know, I feel like there's a release that's happening here that's providing a lot of peace within the count with between the counterparts now. And it's it's like yes, this person wants to say I'm sorry. But with that page of cups, it also feels like levity. It also feels like creativity, it feels flirty, it feels innocent, 
not childish, but innocent. Like emotionally open and explorative and feeling safe in that, feeling safe to move in that way. Okay. Anything else in my collective needs to know as it pertains to this? Five of cups in the reverse. We got Love Shack. We've already had a reading like that. Love Shack is a little known place where we can get together. Delmas keeps coming out. This person has definitely had to go through a betrayal. But I feel like this person has always had to go through betrayals in their world. And that's what kind of curated the character in which you maybe may have known or, or who you knew. Because I don't feel like it's who this person is anymore. Now with something this brutal. This person is going back to the one. They're going back to a new beginning. They're going to communicate this, King of Wands. Once they get themselves revved up, and best believe this fire on the King of Wands, it's getting revved up. This fire is going to get revved up. King of Wands, first of all, no king is no king is not going to move on anything, okay? But you add fire to that mix. And there's just no way. There's something about this connection that this person is not going to. They're a dog with a bone. They're not going to let this go. And it's like they feel like it's their calling. It's their mission. This person's on mission. Because this person, ooh, let's see here. Yeah, the mon their manipulative state <laughs> The magician in the reverse in the world car. Them trying to be manipulative, manipulative, or controlling. Um, there's an ending to this manipulation and delusion. But I, where is this coming from? Let's double check on this. Clarify this magician in the reverse, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. Who is representing this? Who's representing this magician in the reverse? There's a purposeful delay that's happened here. Let's see. Clarify the magician in the reverse. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. This person wants to take you away. They want y'all to enjoy a love shack, okay? I feel like there's been a lot of interference. There's a lot of people sticking their nose into the connection because this person has this urge to want to take you away, to just be alone with you. Clarify the magician in the reverse. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Marriage. Thief. Bear in the reverse. Gift. This is someone that was terrified to bring this forward. With the magician in the reverse, it's probably, I feel like it came from extreme shyness, but this person just had, they had these feelings. And it's like they knew that you were their person, that you were destined to be their person. But. It's almost like maybe it was a situation that passed. They weren't able to like manifest or they weren't able to like jump on it. 
I'm hearing jump, jump, jump to it. They weren't able to jump on it. As the brothers groove with you, this person wants to groove with you. There's a lot of like songs that are like back to back here about missing someone, missing someone's company, missing someone's vibe. You can also get vibe from magician as well. This person ran away. That's how I'm taking this magician card in the reverse. Because I feel like this person is naturally a magician. But in the reverse, it's like they use their abilities in the adverse way. Not in a horrible, mean, vicious way, but from insecurity. In almost like an untapped talent. They were too afraid to really be in their power with you because they didn't feel powerful. Okay, and it brought this person a lot of despair. But in the reverse, and this is 32, that, that uh, breaks down to a five. So this person has gone through a tremendous change and they're getting out of this energy of despair. I do feel like this person, they do want to marry off a lot of folks. Like that's just what they see. And they got a gift that they want to display, okay? For some of y'all, it could be unexpected income or something, like some type of opportunity that's wrapped up in love as well. Um, that's for some people. Okay. All right. Let's see here. What is this person's intentions to my collective with this I should have chose you? So let's go ahead and ask what this person's intentions for my collective. Show my collective with the person's intentions for this person that's saying I should have chose you. What is their intention? Tell us here, please, and thank you. He's saying this song, part of the song is saying, let's be fair. You know it's time to clear the air. I've been watching you. You've been watching me. And you know I've been wanting to groove. Hey, groove with you. I want to groove. I want to groove. Let's see. What is this person's intention? This person says, I know you've been thinking of me, baby. I've been thinking of you. I feel like you can't. At this point in time, y'all probably couldn't remove each other from your minds if y'all wanted to. It would probably take a, lo a lobotomy. Look at that camera. This person is watching you, reminiscing, looking at your pictures, you know. But they're taking this quiet healing time to really examine the past so they'll never repeat it. They're dead serious about that. And I love that for them. Because they're evolving. Oh, the butterfly. Spread your wings and prepare to fly. All right, I think I, I am loving the music now. It's helping. This relationship is evolving, by the way. Okay. It says a, a relationship evolving to the next phase, healing inner child. We love that. And growth. We love that. Plot. But yeah, something's taking time. Their intention with that camera is to make new memories as well. That's the last um, words here on this card. So that is their intention is to not just be sitting here pondering about these, about what was. They want what's new. They want that too with you. Okay. Um, but something is taking time or something needs time with that clock here. But I feel like this person's very much aware of the time they're taking. And they appreciate the patience that um, is being shown here with them. Because I feel like these counterparts know what's going on. What's going on? It's like this person is going through the same healing in which you've gone and gone. So there's a, a certain level of compassion um, that's being given. Um, and I just feel like I'm on the same page here now. God bless anybody that's staying in the way. This card also represents progress, okay? Let's see. What is a sorry, not sorry? What does my collective need to know when it comes to the sorry, not sorry? Girl with a snake. 
empath, narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enabled, boundaries. So someone is, is not sorry for their actions. It looks like a girl with a snake, someone who could have been a narcissist, a user, someone who charmed your person. They're not sorry. Um, they could have had your person on a ring. They could have just been another key on one of their rings. Um, but this is someone that had many options. They could have had stringalongs. They could have been prone to one night stands. This this girl or boy with a snake. Whoever this, uh, yeah, I had a confirmation on my phone. Okay. What else my collector needs to know as it pertains to this girl with a snake? Phoenix. It fell on marriage. It's, and this Phoenix card is new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. So, and the deck close. So Spirit wants to know, or wants you to know, that the inevitable is the inevitable. Because this person, they said, they never knew love like this before. Stephanie Mills. Now I'm lonely never more since you came into my life. Yeah. So whatever stood in the way of this, your person had to move away from this, and that's what they're cleaning house from. That's what they're cleaning house from. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my god, that's what they're cleaning house from and healing from. Okay, okay, all right. Moving on, moving forward. All right. What does person want to say, to my collective? New love like this before. It opened my eyes. You open this person's eyes. Ooh. And they're so attracted to you. They're so attracted to you, darlings. They said they never knew love like this before. Anything else that they want to communicate? To their person. What does the person want to say to my collective? What do they want to say to my collective? Okay. Uh, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Okay. This person says I love you unconditionally. This person says I feel you leaving me behind. Okay. This person wants you to know that you're their main female. This is definitely looking at me. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, let's see. Somebody holding back. Somebody's holding back around you. I think we kind of understand who that may be. But let's see. Um, show my collective. Who's holding back from the Holy Spirit? Show my collective. Who was holding back for my collective? Please and thank you. The moon. Somebody's really holding back from you. A secret? Let's see. Front and center. Show my collective. Death. A lot of water, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The lovers. Yeah. Someone's holding back from you that they've had a major transformation. Or have had to undergo major endings and beginnings. Likely as it pertains to their selection or choice in lovers. 
of the past. This could have been someone of your past or someone that you just have a strong asshole connection to. They had to drop someone in order to like face you to make something balanced again because they feel like you're their angel. This emperor feels like you're their angel. And uh, they want to renew something with that judgment. They want to rebirth the connection they've been talking to God, talking to the spiritual team, trying to figure out how they can bring something back to life. And I feel like they're making them kind of nervous right now. This is Lenny Kravitz. Um, thinking of you. Thinking of you and all the things that you wanted me to be. What well, I'm trying now. Yeah, all the things that you wanted me to be. Well, I'm trying now. That's what this person's saying. Now. Um, okay. What can Michael like expect? Um, What can my collective expect in the future as it pertains to this connection? Please and thank you. Okay, I don't mind this. I think I'll, I'll continue a little buzzer. I, I think I'll probably get more used to it. All right. Hope. Faith. Okay. There's also that rainbow there in the back. It's like... Those who maintain their faith will see what it is. Okay? What can my collective expect in the outcome as pertains to this connection? The spirits definitely say it takes faith to know. Okay? What can my collective expect? Dreaming and hope. It's so connected to your faith. It's so connected to your dreams. It's like spirit is constantly saying, like, it's everything you want it to be. If you believe in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is something um, y'all likely had to turn away and let go in order for this abundance to appear. Okay. Because something was always made for the future. This connection was always made for the future. It was not time when y'all, when it was time. It wasn't time when it was time, okay? Um, yeah. Advice. Good advice. Yeah, but it's going to take some time, you know. <laughs> we got major um, confirmations in this reading. This person is going through all types of transformations, all types of change, because they're so drawn to you. And something's going to be definitely significant between July and December, which is uh, any time between Cancer season and Sagittarius season. So, um, yeah, July to, to December beginning December. Um, actually, cancer starts in June, the end of June. So, yeah. Cancer starts the end of June until the start of December. Okay? So that can be very significant there. The tides are shifting. It's, it's a lot of uh, heavy emotions in the atmosphere, darling. All right? Know that your commitment is being tested at this time. Advice from my collective, please and thank you. Thinking of you. Holding your vision. A fiery climax approaches. Oh my goodness. It's like those cards keep coming out. Adjustments are required. That comes out quite a bit too. 
Okay. All right. And then we got communication is key. Yeah, Bluetooth chakra. Well, it's coming. Just give it time, babies. And we got that new moon in Gemini. That could be significant. Um, and those look like twins there. So yeah, this person is gonna break no contact. Did I mention this is looking like a no contact? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Nothing yet is set in stone now, so allow yourself to be flexible. And don't be gung-ho on expectations. Just allow it to flow. All right. I think that's it. All right. <laughs> Take care of yourself until next time.